All right, so uh, where we left off was you all um, had finished your uh, saving of the miners, and then you came back, dropped them off, and the one that was there, um, they were going to do a burial that was going to be alongside the uh, couple people that died during the goblin attack. And so the burial was going to happen in, uh, what was it, the evening, the morning? Um, burial at sunset, evening. same day. That's right. Uh, so it was going to be in the evening. It was around 1 p.m. when you guys were back. So you guys can pretty much hang out uh, for a bit and then go to the burial before your long rest. And then um, I believe y'all were going to try and figure out more details about your map so you could see where to go uh, as far as the, you know, Talamund. Talon. What was it? How do you say it? Tal Hundredth? Yes. Yeah. So. Mm. So yeah, we'll be picking up where, I'll just go ahead and say it's 1pm in the afternoon before the burial after you guys just got back. Uh, or we could fast forward. It's up to you guys to the burial. It's up to you. Mm. Um. Somebody got anything they want to do here? I don't think so. I don't. I don't know if anybody else does. Okay, well then, let me just go ahead and bring you to the city, because I'm sure. Uh, so around like 5.30, 6 o'clock, you guys would come out to the town. Uh, and even from your manor, you can see in the far distance, because of how high up it is, that uh, people are starting to gather at the far end, uh, where um, Grail, Sister Grail said that the, uh, the, start, the graveyard is forming. Um, and you guys can head over there. I'll go quietly over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, whenever you make your way all the way out to this pasture, uh, you can see that there is two rows of, uh, about ten wide, uh, grave set, and they're setting up a new row. And uh, they got four graves dug up with the um, the bodies laid inside them. Sister Grail is praying over the second grave as you guys are approaching, uh, silently praying, just so you know. And there is a small crowd of maybe about 15, 20 people uh, around with you know a few people crying and such. <clears throat> Do you, yes. you guys approach anyone? Yeah, I was going to ask if we recognize certain people. Uh, no, it's, it's, I mean, there's a, the influx of people. It's hard for you guys to know a lot of people around town right now because of how many there was. The only person here that you recognize would be Sister Grail. And By the way, uh, oh, sorry. Yep. Go for it. Go ahead, Wednesday. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, by the way, Wednesday is not here. Oh, you're not going with? Yeah, Wednesday is staying at the manor. Okay. Yeah. Wednesday didn't want to, though, from what I understood. But, yeah, it's fine um, if you don't want to. Uh, anyone else not going? I went along. Okay. Seems like everyone else is going, so Wednesday, you're by yourself for a little while. Yeah, in the manor. Probably just sleeping or something. Whatever works for you. Um, and, yeah, so y'all uh, not approach no one or nothing? I, I don't want to inter interrupt the, her prayer. Yeah. Well, after she finishes with the second grave, she's going to go to the third one and once again pray. She seems to be doing this over all the graves. There was also, like, someone's friend that died from the people we saved, right? Yes, one of the people that you went out to save did not make it. Yeah. Yeah. Do we see any of them? Uh, not yet. Okay. At least. Mm -hmm. okay. Round when Sister Garel gets to the last grave to pray silently over uh, you see um, 
Halil and a couple others from the Miners Exchange making their way, including a couple that, the, the three that you've saved. Uh, they begin approaching the gravesite area, and uh, the ones that you saved will uh, go and see you guys and say, uh, It's a shame that it seems y'all were just a moment late. It is a shame. Yeah. And we will always try to not be a moment late. Learned a lot from that moment. If it wasn't for you, the, he probably wouldn't even have a grave, and we'd be laying along with him, so... Well, it takes solace. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with everyone mm. around. Um, how lo uh, just so we're clear, Hillel has a... Am I saying her name right? I feel like I'm saying her name right. Or wrong. But she's, um... She looks more agitated than actual sad. Um, if you guys look at her. Sister Grail is just going to um, look up at everyone and say, Thank you all for gathering. Is there anyone that would like to say anything before we, uh, we bury these folks? That's my right. You said something, Daphne? I'm sorry. I said I don't think it's my right. <laughs> oh. I don't think I, I, don't, I wouldn't walk up. Mm. Yeah. I feel like we're in the same boat there. Didn't know them too well, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, I was only much, trying to save them. Pretty much everyone would stay back and just be somber, some crying. Uh, and Helen will walk up and she'll look down at the, the miner's grave and she'll toss a pen um i would say loki and viscern would have known what the pen is it's a it's a pen of a uh the zentaro she'll toss it inside uh the gravesite and without another word she or without any word she's just gonna turn around and go back to the crowd well grail speaks up well if that's all that anyone wants to uh do, I guess, and may their memories bring as much joy to you as their lives brought to them and their loved ones. And, uh, one of the, you'll see Drool, the, not Drool, what was his name? The goblin that y'all saved? Uh, Droop. 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 Uh, you'll see Droop began putting dirt back into the graves. Just a silent somber. At this point, hmm. Grail appears to be back in prayer quietly. Okay. Hmm. So we can just tell that Holly is pretty pissed off. Yeah, she looks more like I said, she looks annoyed more than anything. <laughs> and she definitely side eyed y'all on her way back from the grave to the crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She scares the Okay. <laughs> Halia. If you do it her name is. I am saying it wrong. It's Halia. <laughs> Not hello. <laughs> Just give her an awkward smile and. I wanted to kind of see, like. I think she said last time that 14 people died. Are any of these graves fresh? If there's like about all 20... the graves are fresh. Okay, so it's like a fresh 20 graveyard. Okay. There's uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's one full row of ten graves behind these ones, and these four are not the first four in this row. They are probably the there's probably like two more spots before you get a, a full row of ten at this point. Okay. That's depressing. All right. Well, as soon as the first clump mm -hmm. of dirt is thrown on the fourth grave, which is the miners, that's when 
Halia and the other miners are going to return, heading back toward the exchange. Uh, some of the others that were there for the other three have already started dispersing, other than, uh, I would, you know, there's a woman that looks really sad, presumed to be a wife, uh, that stayed back for one of the graves. And everyone else seems to be heading toward the center area, possibly the inn or the sleeping giant. I'm ready to go. Hopefully save lives. I'd like to go to, uh, what's it called? to the miners exchange. Okay. Huh. Anyone going with okay. Cotman? If they're still open. I'm not sure if they closed early because today, oh, somber days and stuff. Yeah. And, like I said, anyone going with Cotman? The I'll Halia, go. The exchange? Okay. Mm -hmm. Leah's going. Loki, are you going to go with to the to the exchange? I don't know if he's going to. I think we should go to to the the, the missions we already have. Uh, the, 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 the marks on, on the map. Mm -hmm. The map you guys have is from that uh, goblin cave, and it's pretty crude. So it's not very clear on exactly where those marks are. Um, after this, we would be taking a long rest, right? Yeah, it's the evening, so unless you guys want to head out in the middle of the night. Yeah. I uh, but yeah, you guys so, have, you know, there's there's going to be people gathered at Sleeping Giant, Stonehill Inn, and you get the, you guys are heading to the exchange, so I mean, and then you got yeah. Gwen, your researcher person, that you can always help you out, um, if you have other questions. Oh, this but, was a little recreational. Yeah, this is, the, the burial was, you guys said you wanted to be part of it, so, there yeah. you are. Oh. So. Um, hmm. I'll, I'll come to you with to the miners exchange. I'll come with you to the miners exchange. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, the plan is to ask for some really big rocks. So if you want to carry something, <laughs> let's see if she can do that. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, not today. It depends if they have them right now. Uh, maybe we can get a cart or something. I can, I can just call one out if I, if we need it. Good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She's pretty weak, so we might need it. But yeah, let's go ask. Unless right, she's sweet. really mad at us. We get to talk to them too. I'm kind of curious. So is everyone yeah. just going to the exchange? I'm I, going to I suppose just me, myself, and uh, Daphne for now. Oh, not Daphne. My bad. <laughs> well, unless okay. the party Leah. wants to split, Leah. Then I'm going to presume you stay together. So Vesser and uh, Loki and Rabbit, without uh, protest, I'm going to say you're joining them. Um, you guys make your way over to the exchange, and when you get there, uh, it seems like inside they're having a bit of a party where everyone has, like, drinks, uh, there's, Ooh. um, on a marble slab there is, like, some food, uh, you know, it's grabbable food, little sandwiches and such, um, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, no one seems to be, like, I mean, a few of them seem to be, like, having, like, a great time, but everyone else seems to be having a, um, you know, the, how do you say that? Like, a somber party, I guess? Yeah, I know that. Um, yeah. Celebration of Life type yeah. party. Um, yeah. But yeah, you go Celebrate in there. Celebrate who they were. Um, Halia and a couple of the, the other three that were there, uh, they also have drinks in hand and such. Um, but yeah, you guys can walk in. No one's working. It's a little party for everybody. Oh, dang. Oh. That's was a little unexpected. Yeah, but everybody agrees differently. True. Yeah. I guess I'll just try and call out to Halia and uh, not interrupt any conversation there, and hopefully. I will turn mid-sip and she'll see you guys. Her expression will go from slightly happy to a bit annoyed and she'll come over and she'll say you looking to poop on this party or something of course not 
No, it was yeah, who under Cloudy? Yeah. No, Jesus. No, <laughs> this was this her problem. I was hoping to add to the merriment. Merriment? You think we're having a grand time? The only thing we're no, having not today. Is we brought these three back, but we did lose one of our men. That's fair. I was hoping to cheer up the gloom, uh, glum mood the town seems to be in all the time. I was curious if we could acquire some heavy stones. I want to organize a contest. Maybe not today, mm -hmm. but one of the days we probably have some off time in. Contest, you say? Hmm. Just a, a contest to see if somebody can lift a heavy stone over their head. And what would be the reward for this contest of yours? Hmm. Let's say 50 gold out of my own pocket, and anybody else can bet any oh, any more gold they want. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be I'm added sure to there, the pot. I am sure there will be plenty of betting to go around. But, uh, interesting. Well, guess you do bring some of the merriment, as that is a wonderful idea. Well then, I'm sure I can find something here that's able to be lifted, but only by some. Ah, don't plan to be looking around today, but I'll be sure to have found something for you. Thank you. I'll be sure to uh, check back in. Yeah, you do that. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll have one of those ready. Some type of stone or boulder. That's interesting. Perfect. I'm always down for a little competition, even if I'm not participating in the event itself. Perfect. Yes. One of the miners that y'all saved is going to um, approach. Um, it'll be the dwarf that you saved. Na uh, their name was uh, Tharbin, if you remember. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to approach you guys as Halia leaves. And I'm just going to... Ah, thanks for what you did back there. I know everyone else is a little upset that we lost our guy, but... Honestly, we would have lost all of us if it wasn't for what you intervened. I appreciate that. It's a little bittersweet, I guess, the best way to say it, but we're glad that you guys got out. At least. Yeah, well, I did want to offer a little help. You said you had a crude map or something you mentioned you were trying to find somewhere. Oh yeah. yeah, uh, I'll pull up Oblin's, like, crude little dr drawing, and show him. Uh, the, he'll look at the drawing, and, uh, for a moment, and he'll say, Aye, that's what I was hoping to see. Near some hills. Well, I'm a bit of a scout for the, the exchange, and, uh, I know those types of places. I, I may know where that, uh, how do you how do you say that? The the, the drowned and rest, the, the, the tall and dress thing. Ah, whatever. I've seen yeah. caves over there, and that marking reminds me of uh, an old door garb. That's... Door guard, huh? Okay. I doubt any of them are still there after all this time, but. Yeah, the Storm Maisel Hills are on the east side of the Neverwinter Woods. Based on where those X's are, I think uh, Talondreth is probably at the end of the river. The one that's get make it up the hill. Hmm. It's sort of where the runoff begins. And uh, as he explains that, he's going to kind of gesture... He's going to be like, kind of like making gestures on your little crude map where the Star Metal Hills are, where the Neverwinter Wood should be, and where that river would line up. And he'll say, um, right at the edge of that river, that's, that's where you're going to find it. Hold on, I got you. Okay. Oh. Perfect. That, that actually narrows it down a lot, because it's not know. where we're going to be going all up, <laughs> up and down them hills. Searching for... And now you know where the Tall Hundredth location is. And there was mention of a crypt. Apparently they're in the same place. Okay. So, huh. 
it is literally the crypt of the Tal Hunt, so kind of go figure. Um, write that down, write that down! It says Look nothing. At that. It says nothing your thing. Look at that. My little, my little recreation trip turned out useful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Talking to previous people is important. It is important. <laughs> Um, I actually honestly, had no clue we were going to meet this guy. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> you kind of hinted that we brushed him off too soon. It's, it's fine. So, I... I'm i bad with names. There's You have researchers everywhere. So, or you have Gwen. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the worst case scenario, Gwen would probably know. So. But, he seems like a good ally. But uh, I hope that helps you with the journey and doesn't take away from our offer. We're still going to be giving you uh, a good chunk of our findings from the hammer mine. Oh, thank you. Of course. Uh, I'm not sure what it'll be worth, but why don't you go find out how much that silver vein is worth, and that should give you an idea. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Okay. Uh, he's, he's just gonna start drinking his drink and turn around and head back to the party. You'll hear him I grumble. Hear ah, some weak stuff. Have to get that guy something strong. Yeah, but I didn't bag a holder. Bag a holder for what? I was just thinking if we have anything in it, like any kind of like alcohol. I don't well, think we do. It's a dwarf drinking alcohol provided by humans and elves. So. Oh yeah, that's true. I try to swill for him. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the the wine cooler. <laughs> yeah. But uh, be, um, anything else you guys want to do in here? Because everyone mm -hmm. now that you see this, everyone's just kind of walking around, talking, drinking, eating the finger foods. I just go socialize, basically. Yeah, with the townsfolk, try and get to know some of them. Okay, is there anything? particular you want to know or do you want to just mingle just mingle pretty much uh you know since i'm kind of a protector of the town it'd be good for them well i know they know my face but they don't really know me okay that's fair enough <laughs> they don't seem to like us these guys in particular what about that's why you uh, talk. rabbit loki what do you two want to do yeah i i think we should go to 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 the marks on the mark, map, map. The Tahundra? Remember, uh -huh. it is nighttime right now, so y'all are probably gonna sleep before you head out. My plan is just to get drunk and kind of waste it here. It's, it's nice. where I have uh, advantages, uh, because I can see in the dark. I think. Okay, but it's also been like a whole day since we've slept. Yeah. Let the yeah. horror venture rest. <laughs> Some of us can't see in the dark. I, I'm, I'm good now. I got my goggles. Oh yeah, you have the glasses. Okay, all yeah. of us can see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, assisted uh, night vision. Yeah. Well, you know. I'm sure his phone's... Actually, sure you wait. don't want to stay here this and get drunk. Oh wait, Desert's okay. underage? I don't know if there's underage. No, uh, Wednesday. Here. Oh, Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday's well, Wednesday not, isn't Wednesday there. Wednesday stayed home, so. I yeah, know, but I was going to offer Wednesday to come party. That's <laughs> actually <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a thing. Alcohol is easier to store on a ship than water and all that. Very. Especially with its lifespan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it Also, maybe try and compete with some of them if they're trying to arm wrestle. Oh my god. One oh god, I just took so much damage. Oh god. Why? What? What happened? It's arm wrestling. I'm confused. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I do. Before. No, I, I had a drink on my desk from last night, and I thought it'd be fine to just, like, take a sip from it, and it tasted no. disgusting. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. 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 I did that with milk one time. No, it was... Don't do oh, that. What? Milk? Yeah. Milk, is just, milk is real bad. You don't really know. bad. Yeah, I was... No survival I, sense on this one. I was on a, um... 
I was on a live stream, and I thought it'd be funny to drink milk if I lost the game. And this milk was, it wasn't even like a day old, it was like three days old. And so, I, I still have the recording of me throwing up and having to yeah. cut to, cut to uh, ad or whatever. <laughs> that's, oh, that's really... Yeah, yeah, that's what sour milk does to you. That's, uh, a choice was made, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um. Alrighty, well. But, uh, yeah, you kind of just see a walking, a, a, yeah, a three foot tall rabbit walking around trying to talk to these uh, oh, miners. <laughs> roll a, uh, just roll a charisma check. Just use your, modif your charisma modifier. Gotcha. I'll do the same. Let's okay. see. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got a high I charisma because paladin it. stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's okay. It's not high, but that's a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you wanted to? Add, you just wanted to talk to people. Nothing in particular. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Kind of just mingle with them. You know, try and uh, not really go crazy, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, you're you like, would, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. You would. Uh. You would have a good impression made on multiple people that work in the miners' exchange. Um. I'd say a good like six, eight people over the over the over the evening. You would be able to interact with in a positive manner, leaving a good impression on them. Yes, nice. Uh, How was yours? Uh -oh. Seven. Seven. Uh -huh. So uh, you come off as a bit awkward to people. Uh, it's not a standoffish type of awkward, but they're, uh, you know, the conversations kind of be ended with a bunch of, uh, oh, I, I, th I need a refill on my drink. I can I go do that. Yeah. Can I go <laughs> get a refill? Sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, let me out of Sounds here. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so you didn't leave a bad impression, but uh, you didn't leave a good one either, so. They're, mm -hmm. they're probably not going to look to you for conversation. She's still smiling. It's okay. Didn't even notice. Ooh. She's also drunk, so it's okay. <laughs> Everybody else is too, and they forget. Luckily, I'm pretty small, so it doesn't take much. Fair enough. <laughs> Body mass ratio just, and all that. I've just been <laughs> lightweight before. Um. Okay. Uh, if that's all, then you guys can wrap it up and head back to the manor for the evening. And, right. uh, yeah. We'll just go ahead and jump to the to the morning. You guys finish a long rest at the manor. You have a good evening. Um, and you guys know where you gotta go very particularly. So, you guys have any more... You wanna stop anywhere? You wanna do any shopping? You wanna do anything in town before... We head I have out. potions. Um, I got two we... right now. Hey, do does anybody want... need potions before we head out? I mean, if we want to make a quick stop at Barthens before we do anything. I think I still have my potions, but we can... Does anybody... I don't... You said you have what? I have two right now. I'm good. Plus, I can heal I myself, so... Yeah. yeah. I also have two. I don't know if anybody else... I... Thank you, Wednesday. You're here. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, I am here. Um, <laughs> oh boy, I can't get to my character sheet right now because it's on my other computer, but I'm assuming I have a good enough potions. Yeah. I mean, I did um, steal that greater potion, so I have, if I still have that. I don't have anyone's potion counter. Actually, if you guys want to go around and tell me how many potions you have, that's something I've started helping keep track of. So, okay. um, how many potions do you have? Currently have two. I think two I used standard. one like maybe, yeah, just two standard potions. To the best of my memory, I think it was three potions and then one greater health potion. That's a we lot. did have a lot, I think. All right. mm -hmm. so we bought like a whole crate and then split it up between potions. everybody, but I don't think we used many. Okay, so Wednesday you have three standard potions and one greater? Yeah. At the very least, I know I have that greater one. Uh, Leah, do you remember how many potions you have? I have two, unless anybody's 
like I think the day after we got them, I wasn't here. So unless someone used them, I I have two. No. I don't. Yeah. No, okay. No potions. Then two. Yeah, so. Okay. Right, so two standard potions. Uh, Loki, do you remember how many potions you have? Yeah, none. You, didn't you? Didn't you, you get two from the crate? I'm not using potions. Oh. Okay. Loki has but no potions. Did we give you some? I thought y'all did, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, because last time when we bought a crate from Barthen, we uh, yeah. split them between the party. I think I used one potion because I was at three, and I was like, oh, I might as well like, pop one. Yeah, so you, should have two, those two. you should have two standards, Loki. At least. We can give them to someone else, but... Yeah, so I'm going to put down two for yeah. now until, until later, because okay. I know we yeah. got, everyone got two, so... Uh, Rabbit, yeah. you should have two potions, and what else? Um, I think it's just the two potions. Okay. And Vestern is just the two as well, I remember that. They did not have a lot of potions either. L Loki, um, if I could ask you to specify, are you saying that you don't use potions, or are you saying that you don't have potions? Or is it, like, both? It's it both. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, then the two that you guys would have given the Loki, where are you? Who are you giving them to instead? Uh, well, we don't know how much Wednesday has, right? Let's have. I mean, hold on to him. I have a, up. I have a rough guess of three normal potions and one greater potion. No, I meant that we don't know how many you have because. Oh we... yeah, because really. I love stealing. I love uh, stealing from the party. <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't know. We can't make the perception check, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was your idea, Carmen? Who were you wanting to give them to? I was thinking uh, Vesseran because we don't know like if well they're we don't know what their character sheet looks like right now. They should have had two as well. I thought y'all hated okay. two to everybody. That's why you bought the yeah. crate. A crate is enough for two I... for each. Yeah. Right, I was asking because. Wednesday is the only one that doesn't like have a healing, um, have any healing magic, right? Other than oh, yeah. Loki. I guess so. Yeah, Loki and Wednesday are the only two that can't heal themselves, but. And yeah, and you can disengage, so it makes more sense for you to be able to help someone a little easier, possibly. So you're gonna I give the two the, to Wednesday, or you just wanna give one and then one to someone else? It's up to everybody. I was just giving what my thought process was. I'm... It doesn't really... I don't know. It's all legit. It's just potions. You guys can just hand You can just toss them in the back of the hole. Yeah, sure, there you go. Just put two exactly. potions just in back There you go. Boom. Easy enough. Yeah. Extra potions. Anybody take them. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Um... Oh, I should make a flyer while we travel. I need some paper. Um, cool. So yeah, uh, anyone want to go to a shop or anything before you leave, or you all just heading out of town? Uh, I'm gonna go. To, yeah, I'd like to stop by Barthens real quick because I don't have any paper on me or, all right. or anything all right. to write, write with. I'm taking off my clothes. Thank you. I mean, you don't have to come inside. I mean, well, I still have to. I can't be within a mile with the gloves on. So Thank even you from just outside. And just to ask, are you guys still confused as to how he would know if you have the gloves on or not? I assume that he just knows. <laughs> he has a lot of magic items. Okay. I'm um, curious. Yeah. So uh, we I don't, don't want to test yet. it and then get, have Wednesday banned for life. Uh, sure, they're invisible um, while you're wearing them, but they're visible while you're not. And every time you take them off, you're holding them. So if you're not holding them, you're wearing them. Oh. Oh. Okay, I get that. <laughs> Good to know. I thought there was um, some strange magic going on. No, that's just there's yeah. There's shopkeeper logic going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also have silver bane. I mean, silver bane that can be sold. It's about like a fistful, a handful, looking. Yeah. Yeah. So, so because oh. of that, you guys walk in and. Uh... 
you see, uh, oh, I got the wrong music for this, but it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna fight him. <laughs> By the way, you guys see Barthen doing his usual, setting, you know, playing, messing around with the shop, organizing some random stuff behind the counter, and you guys walk in. Oh, welcome back. It's always good to see some friendly faces that are always willing to shop here at Barthen's. What is it that I can do for you today? Uh, hello again, Barthen. We're, oh, I'm in the market for uh, some paper and, well, just anything I can write with, really. I need to make some flyers. Oh, finally a standard purchase, like a normal person. Only this time from the <laughs> rabbits. Interesting. Well, I don't know how paper and pens, or paper and quill is going to help you with your next adventure, but certainly, uh, I have some here. Would you like a whole notebook and a quill? Oh, that'll work. All right. How notebook, much would that run me? Notebook, quill, and ink is only going to be about seven copper. I can do that. Yeah, it's crazy how cheap things can be when you buy normal everyday items, eh? True. Hey, I I buy meat over here sometimes. Come on now. <laughs> yes, that's true. You do buy meat sometimes, and meat does have its price to it, as you know, meat is nourishment. So. I wouldn't place the silver because I don't have the copper on me. It'd just be one. Si well, here's the one silver. <laughs> And you'll get uh, free copper back. All right. Thank you. Well, pleasure doing business. Is there any adventurer purchases we're looking at today? Can I get some meat? <laughs> you just want some standard beef? Uh, I think uh, yeah, probably beef. That's probably the best for traveling. All right, and that's beef jerky, correct? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, once again, the wrong music. Uh, I'm gonna have to type this in chat so I can edit it later. Well, for a single day worth of rations, that's going to uh, just run you about five, uh, one silver. Or we can go for a mm -hmm. whole ten days worth. What is it that you need? I mean, I think I could go for ten days. How much would 10 days be? Oh, if you'd like to get all days set up, that'll be uh, 5 gold worth. 5 gold, sure, why not? Um, guys, I need 5 minutes, I have to take care of something, and then I'll be back, okay? I'm okay. sorry. Okay, we can take I'll our, be back. We can take our 5 early, I guess, if you want. We'll, we'll do, we'll, we can finish up the shopping, and we'll take 5, I guess. Um, alright, so 5 gold, you get help pull up like a whole little bucket of rations and he'll say all right let's get you 10 days worth and he'll start just making a little stack on a uh, like a serving rack uh, not like a kitchen serving rack but like a you know a tray uh, yeah and he'll put you know the 10 days worth of jerky and then he'll put the bucket back down behind the counter all right well you got your rations you're all set up and you got your paper. Is that all we're doing for today? That's all I can think of right now. <laughs> oh. Are you going to put the silver vein into the bag of holding? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a... Silver vein, silver vein. Sorry about that. That was like 10 oh. seconds. What are you talking about? Five minutes. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I wanted to. <laughs> After shopping before the adventure, we'll take five so that we can just. You can just handle whatever. Okay. We, you know, you just take five in like 30 minutes anyway, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is there any anything else we want to do with the shop? How much did the silver go for? Oh, right. We have some yeah, silver vein we'd like to sell. Oh, I'm just looking in the notes. I didn't see it anywhere. I forgot to add it. I have it in I have oh. mine, uh, yeah. but... Okay, okay. Some... gotcha. Yeah. I, keep a, I keep a list okay. of the immediate treasures you've yeah. gotten, so... It was uh, it, this full of silver vein. Uh, just plate... I guess I'll just place it on the counter. Oh. Well, this 
is definitely different from what you bring me. Usually it's already made into some sort of statue or item. He'll uh, grab a little eye tool and he'll grab the silver vein and start inspecting it. Um, after a moment he'll say, oh, This is definitely direct silver. It's ready for use. Definitely has its worth and it's got a good weight to it as well. I uh, I think I'd be willing to take this off your hands for 27 gold. How's that sound? To be clear, this chunk of silver is like, like a, like it's a handful. It's a big. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything anybody want to use, wants to use the silver for, or are we cool with selling it? I mean, I'm not a blacksmith. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do with that anymore. No, oh, not just you know making it yourself. You could take it, go take it somewhere, and have it used to make something. Oh. Yeah. Otherwise, we I'm fine with selling it. The silver, right? Yes, silver vein. Mm. Eh, whatever. Okay. He did say that he would um probably have more for us, but maybe. You can take some thought later. Oh, yeah. We're cool with selling it. That sounds like a fair price to me. All right. Well, here you are. And he'll put a bag with 27 silver on it. Thank on you. The and uh, we'll take that chunk, and he's going to he's gonna put it on this little, like, shelf he has by his, you know, the door back here. Um, and it's just going to sit on that shelf for a second. Well... Yeah, he's always leave here with more money than you come in with, it seems. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? 27 gold, not silver. You, oh, sold, oops, a, bad. you mm -hmm. sold a hefty chunk of silver for 27 gold. If that, th if they, like, if they put it you know, another way, this chunk of silver, because it's raw, it has the potential to be you know, made into an item, or it could be made into money, and if it was to be made into money, it could easily make maybe uh, anywhere from like 150 to like 200 silver coins. That's how big the, the vein is. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. But people pay hey, actually... for raw material because of its use. I'd say, yeah, he definitely gave us a fair price for it then. Probably, yeah. Martha always gives a fair price. <laughs> okay. I believe it. Yeah, it's like you're in some run downtown. He gets a fair price. <laughs> you should be more I think we're good. If you're at Baldur's Gate, then get nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that's all, then I hope you all have luck in your next adventure. Thank you. And Thank you guys you. are just hoofing it. Out uh, into uh, into into the land, right? I'm just gonna walk over to where you're going. Uh, how do y'all feel about? Well, y'all want to ride in the cart for a bit, or because I can summon it. It just burn up a spell slot. I mean, it, we, it'll be faster too. We do have a cart, like we have one. Yep, back at the house, you oh. have a horse and cart. Oh. Yeah. Right. So you don't want to burn the spell slot. Do you want to bring the horse and cart all the way to where you're going? Maybe you should burn a spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, yeah, because this thing moves at double yeah. speed. It goes let's even bring, faster. Yeah. Let's bring Ajax with us. Yeah. No. I'm sure you left Ajax. I, you always do. I definitely did for this one. At this point, that's just the default, unless you say you're bringing them. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if I can have him with me safer, but... I haven't really had it's anything as yet. As safe as you can keep them safe. All right. Exactly. Uh, remember, it's gonna disappear after eight hours of travel, so just be ready to like you know, hop off. Okay. Simply invest in a spell to make Ajax like really big or something, so he's harder to kill. There is a large. Yeah, Ajax is really fast. I wonder if making him bigger. He'd just be like a normal sized bunny. He's a tiny bunny. I don't I'd think to... enlarge uh, helps just... with HP though. It doesn't help no. with HP, it doesn't help with AC. It just makes your hits a little stronger. And uh, for 
size comparison stuff. So. I think the reason why is because when I wild shape, I drop like I'll drop him, mm -hmm. and that's well, why that's I so can't true. really you can hold concentration on a spell though, after you wild shape. As long as you cast it before, you can't cast spells before you wild shape or in wild shape, but you can you can hold concentration on a spell in wild that shape. That makes sense. No, I mean like I if I he's in my pocket and I change, he'll fall out. Oh, that's true. If, yes. if anything, he'll just have to run. So I have to find a way to have that not be a problem. I mean, didn't we pick up a gem that can like what's it called? Summon a thing. I'm sure there's gems yeah. that can do that in reverse, like store a thing. Oh. Okay. I'll look into that. That's a good idea. I mean, maybe. Well, maybe. We'll be able to, like, have a, carry him around wherever you go. And then just, like... It's like a little mm -hmm. cage, but he's safe inside of it. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. We'll see. I do miss him when he's not here. Hopefully it wouldn't be one-time use, though. That would kind of suck. Yeah. Well, before you decide to do your cart and stuff, let's go ahead and take that five, and then, uh... And then we'll keep it going. Sounds good to me. So whatever y'all need to handle, go ahead and handle. Okay, thank you. Bye.
Why must you explode all over me? What have I done to deserve this? Sounds like you're messing with the camera. No, I was opening a thing of McDonald's must like a hot mustard. That's and not it what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> What what were you thinking I was gonna say? Well, I thought that was a camera. That's what I thought. One of those like disposable cameras. So I thought it was just like the when the the film just pops out. I thought that's what it was gonna be. And you're like, no. <laughs> well, now. Guys. Maybe I'm old. Maybe that's not something you've experienced. Oh no. Yeah, maybe you are, Dean. Uh -oh. Maybe you are old. Uh oh, disposable camera stuff. <laughs> guys, guys. I just, I, I'm so, sorry, but I, I just wanted, I wanted to say that I just got a, um, position in this game development that I was, uh, looking to get into. Oh, nice. Well, what's like, the I, game, I, or what's the game? Like the game? Okay, you know what Toontown is, right? Yeah. Okay, basically, somebody wanted to make a, like a, like a different, like a revamped version of Toontown, mm -hmm. and it's called Toontown Event Horizons. And it's like this whole like space theme thing and all that. And they were hiring for a texture artist, so I was like, Oh, I know how to do textures and so <laughs> I I applied and I just got the message saying that I'm in. Congratulations. Like Congrats. officially in. Oh. Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. We're fucking poggers. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Alright. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, are we all back? Are we ready to get this going? No? Yes? I'm good. Alright. We're ready to get this going. So how, uh, were you going to summon the cart? Yeah, I was going to summon the cart. Alrighty. So that cart is, uh, if I recall, it can cross, like, how much in an hour? Um, let's go. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, summon vehicle. Uh, let's see. Because we went through the uh, that tunnel, and you said it would be about a day's travel. Yeah. Just going through the tunnel. And then you the uh, cart, and it took eight hours instead. So I think it's... Yeah. So, uh, military vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Doesn't really say... Uh, consider proficient, and you double your proficiency bonus to ability checks related to driving the vehicle. So it's probably just standard horse it. travel, or cart, horse and cart travel. So let's see, that would be travel speed, uh, seven miles per hour with a horse and wagon. So. I'm gonna add curvature, make it 44. Uh, so 11 plus 44, 55 miles. And then you gotta go up the hill. So another 11 miles, so 66. And then going around the hill, making it more like 7.5. So you got about 52. 25 miles to go. Okay, so and won't be the whole thing. Seven miles. Let's see. 52 divided by seven. Uh, 7.4. So pretty much a full eight hours. Just under eight hours to to get all the way up to Tal Hundredth, which is the full use of that cart, pretty much. So. Pretty much. That yeah. Works out. Some of it will be off-road, off-trail. It'll be going in the grass and then around the hills and everything. So there'd be a little bit of hindrances. But I'd say that you can get the whole party there in eight hours. Uh, if you guys leave in the morning, then it would be it'd be roughly about four in the afternoon when you get, uh, when you get there. Okay. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
So let's just uh, let's take y'all there. That that cart comes in crazy handy. Bypasses all the threats of traveling too, pretty much. Oh, at least most of them. So. Excuse me. Okay. Well, that was her first roll she's seen in front of her, and she freaked out. <laughs> Did not like that. <laughs> all right, but uh, cool. So yeah, you guys make your way to Tel Hundreth. All the way at the top, we got it. All the way at the top, here we are. <laughs> Whoops. Get rid of that. Books P. Boom. Everyone's here. Uh... Alright, so. Y'all make your way to the hills and you find this opening that takes you uh, to what looks to be a set of doors. This wide cavern ends at the enormous stone double door, one of which is slightly open. Each side bears the image of a towering mountain with a carved gemstone at its heart. Uh, a long roll of cloth props one side of the double doors open. A fissure in the wall to your right, uh, Seems to open a tunnel leading west. Hmm. Oh. Aren't there supposed to be got or like some kind of things guarding the doors near the entrance? There was no guarantee of that. Mm hmm. Hmm. True. Never mind. Uh, it's kind of weird. I thought the doors would be closed. <laughs> Me too. Mm. We could also take this little entrance out to the our uh, right, or check out where this leads. Yeah, so, we should. This tunnel is five feet high. Just so you know. Mm. Oh. Um, and since you can see it, it'll be a tight fit for everybody but me. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. I I'll go ahead and reveal this because it's gonna probably tell you not to. That actually leads to a different area. I'm just gonna give you the whole thing here. Make it a little easier. Uh -oh. That other area that's also on your map. Your crude map. Hmm. Alright, two options. We go through these big double doors, kill everything in here, or we can go to this other one this, down this little path. But it's gonna be a tight fit. At least for you guys. Yeah, there's a lot of tall. Totally up to you guys. I know that. It's tall. Best friend's also tall. No. I mean, you guys are all like five uh, something, right? So. Best well, is like... six one. Yep. Yeah. Wednesday is but... four three. Rabbit. I'm that is... short. I forgot that. <laughs> Rabbit is. Five foot, but six foot five with the ears. Uh, Loki is wow. six foot. Leah is five six, and then Cotman is a whopping three foot, but I imagine with the ears would be about four two. Yeah. And I toss on the coif just to keep them down, pretty much. So Maybe we should go through the doors. Okay. Well, they're already open. I'm gonna take a step this way and try and peek through. Alright. Wait, hold on, can I, uh, oh wait, shit, I already have my warning, never mind. I'll just, um, keep my warning out for any, any enemies. Right. They're pretty big doors, I mean, can't really swing them that much wider. Can I, can I focus my warning on more than one thing, or... The weapon of warning basically just you don't have to focus or anything because you're attuned okay. to it. If it senses anything of danger uh, within the the space, then you would uh, you'll get like a sensation. Okay, sure it was it's just that I'm not sure if less. It's single yeah. Or if it's like spider sense, I'm not I'm not 100 exactly how the sensation is supposed to be. I usually let the player presume whatever they like for that sensation to be. 
Yeah, I just assumed because in the Mad Mage you asked for specifics with that wand, wand of warning, whatever it was. Yeah, no worries. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'll just get a keep it out ready for whatever dangers may come out. Let's go. In. Okay. Well, I Should guess. Should be quiet or not? I'll slip my goggles on because I don't know how dark it is in here. Good idea. And uh, I'll just pet through. <laughs> All right. Uh, just so it's very clear, uh, the, te ju the f just so you know what you're looking at, uh, the temple or this place has. Um, stone remains in various places uh the sconces that would usually hold torches haven't held them in ages so it is dark inside of here um doors uh including these front doors are about two inch thick slabs of stone uh some other doors will be standard but that's how thick these ones are and as you begin to step in um stepping over are you gonna walk over the rug or are you gonna hop over it I was just going to drag it out so nobody slips on it. Okay. Uh, it is pretty heavy. It's oddly oh. heavy for a carpet. That's weird. Uh, yeah. I'm guessing that would prompt you to look at it a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that right. Yeah, am I getting any warnings from the rug? No warning. But uh, right. as you go to pull it, you realize it's a little heavier than a, it should uh, be. a rug should be. And whenever you look at it, you see inside the middle... Uh, there is a withered corpse of a human oh. inside mm. wrapped in it. Oh. Like fun. Bones or like just withered oh. like meat? Uh like withered meat. Like he's partially decayed. Okay. Right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're not the first ones to try and explore this crypt. Hmm. We're gonna be the okay. first ones to survive, huh? I'm just gonna Prop, yeah. bring him up, well, like drag him over here and prop him against the wall. And like, all right, I guess back through now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, inside, you see that uh, there is stairs that go downward. <laughs> um, from where you stand, the ceiling is 12 feet high uh, above you. Um, and there are the... Uh, and you can immediately notice that there are elaborate carvings of mountain landscapes and treasure piles that line the walls of this area um, and the broad staircase uh, as it descends deeper underground, the ceiling matching height all the way through. Uh, several landings on the staircase hold statues in some bare doorways. The stairs end abruptly at a... Um, well, you can't see that far, but... They, yeah, they're gonna that's fair. Probably, so. But yeah, you can see a little ways. So, uh, yeah, you can keep going. Wednesday, you don't feel anything yet, right? I don't. I mean, I don't feel anything just yet, no. Okay, just let me know. I don't the want another pillar to fall on top of me. Can it predict uh, um, traps, too? It can, Can yeah. I look at these statues? I'm curious. Yeah, of course you can. Curiosity. Go ahead and give you the rest. That is down at the bottom that you walked a little further. The, that is where you see the stairs end abruptly at a wall of tumbled boulders, um, possibly from a collapse long ago. Uh, Loki, you gonna come in with them? Yeah, I'm not going far. Oh, so, so yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, uh, the statues depict uh, various dwarves in, like, stoic positions and such. Okay, just kind of looking at them, making sure they don't not going to come alive like the last statue we fought. No, they, they, seem, mm -hmm. they seem to be just standard statues. Cool. Alright, we got options. And, uh, doors on your left, your right, and uh, more direction south. Right. Any vibrations coming from either of the doors? Nope, everything is pretty clear for you. 
To be fair, I don't have that much of a range, so... Yeah, no, that's why I'm staying right beside you, just in case. Yeah. Uh, you're getting your first sense of danger. Oh. Um, a little further south, and possibly through the door that you notice this door on the right over here. Down here. And you figure it's probably coming through there. Alright, everyone. Um, I think there's some danger on over on that door and chill point. Sweet. Alright. Uh, what's the plan? We, do we think any of these uh, other doors might lead around to it? Or do you want to just go down, pop it open, and beat it to death? It would be funny. Um... Sorry, not funny. I don't think I. I don't think my character would say that. Uh, it. No. I mean. <laughs> it might be. I yeah, it might be. You know what? She would say it. Um. <laughs> um, I don't think we should get into a counter this early into the cave, though. We should probably try and avoid it. See, scope out the area first before we really get into. Just so we have the advantage of knowing what's around us. Okay. Yeah. So, left or right? Uh, probably left, maybe. Well, her, hold on, let me get up to the door, see if I get anything. Nope. Alright. Looks like cool. there's nothing here. I'll, um, open the door, I guess. Boom, arrows just fly out. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, Don't dies. warn me about that. <laughs> Yourself looking at a large, looks like a, almost like a recreational room kind of area. Jumps it off. Uh, so, yeah, there's many doors in here that lead into other rooms. Um, but in the middle, you see four stone chairs facing each other in the middle. Um, one of the chairs has fresh blood on it, though. Fresh? What the heck? Hold on. Hmm. Do I reveal this? Weird. There we go. Oh, oh, never Now it's letting me reveal it. Okay. Bring y'all over. Bring uh, this da -ba -da -ba. Circle. There we go. Save this certain stainer here. I'm gonna pop a divine sense. Divine See if I feel sense. nothing. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that is specific to... Paladines. Uh, and it's a uh, fiend and undead. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, none of those are triggering. Okay. There's no celestial fiend or undead in your immediate area. Well, I ain't feeling nothing. What about you, Wednesday? You got you feel nothing? Anything? I'm not feeling anything either. Uh, yeah. let me try. Maybe I'll get over to this door over here. So it's not dried at all. The blood's like fresh, fresh. Like, not even. It is fresh blood. Dang. Mm. Is it hot when I touch it? <laughs> uh, no. But there are several bones scattered around with the bloody chair, so it's not like it's. I should probably should add that. Yeah. So, um. There are bones scattered around the bloody chair. The blood is indeed fresh. Um, and you guys are welcome to investigate whatever it is you'd like to investigate. I'm going to look up. Do I see anything on the ceiling? <laughs> uh, oh, no, the ceiling is 12 feet high as, as the rest of the place. And is uh, it's nothing on the ceiling. So. Okay. Just, yeah, I'm open... just checking because things have jumped out from the, the ceiling. open the door? <laughs> Uh, Wednesday, when you open that door, uh, it's an uh, empty room. It contains a stone bed, there's a desk, and there's a stool by the desk. Uh, but otherwise, the room is empty. Okay, I'll open this one. Another room, same set. I'm just going to keep on doing this. Yeah, so here, I'll do the same thing on this side. <laughs> Starting to think, starting to think this is just lodging. Yeah. Door, door opening. There is the, any look. Leah, you're opening the door. 
opening that one? Yeah. Okay. And you guys found a bunch of rooms. Leo, when you open okay. your door... No! Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Wait, but I'm <laughs> one person that opened their own door! Damn, <laughs> but I passed over that one too, I would have gone in the sense. Okay, maybe it's interesting, maybe it's interesting. Oh, oh no? Well, okay. Technically, yeah. it's danger sense. Oh, they have to be immediately hostile for your thing to be threatening. Okay, uh, so they're passive right now. So when you open that door, you see a... Uh, one of those little, the gym mules that you've seen before, but this one's like a tiny one. He's a, he's a little guy. Oh. And he's, uh, and <laughs> John and he, he's just, uh, he's sitting there on his little spindly legs, kind of like bouncing, um, idly on the, his little legs. Um, and there's a robed figure sitting at, uh, sitting on the stool, kind of hunched over the desk and you hear him kind of muttering slightly under his breath where all you kind of hear is occasional sentences where it's like uh speak the truth of the far realm keep this keep the truth going so they haven't noticed me yet uh no he's he's very okay. he's kind of into his his situation <laughs> he's thinking of yeah kind of quietly tell everybody to come okay I don't know if you guys what we should do about this. Should we just attack or should we leave them be? We talk to them. Okay. <laughs> Sir, excuse me. <laughs> oh, new truth seekers have arrived! Truth seekers are here! And he's going to turn to look at you. His robe, uh, the hood of his robe is going to fall and you're going to see a man with a half of his face is just uh partially mutated almost like um i'm just going to increase the, the size of the picture token his face looks very rough oh god as he turns and looks well hi <laughs> And he'll t he'll stand up on the stool and look over at you. Truth seekers are here. Would you like to know more about the truth of Far Realm? Yeah, I think so. First, the the truth is hidden behind sacrifice. First, you must you must find your f smallest among you and and feed them to our guardian, the Great Pyramid. I'm gonna look at Cotman. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, we don't have any small people, I swear. Oh, oh wait, I'm the shortest. I, I'm gonna back up. <laughs> no, you're not. No, I am. No, you're not. Feeding. You're yeah. five Based feet. On I'm four three. Guys, we're not feeding. I'm three foot. I'm oh, you're three because foot. Because my ears. Do you oh, okay. Deny the prophecy. The prophecy is. What are we? You. No, of course not. But what are we supposed to? Who do we feed? Feed your smallest, smallest. it does not matter the age. The smallest must be fed to our pyramid. The great guardian is growing. Fed to the See. pyramid. Yeah. He's he's very clearly gesturing to his gym mule. Oh. Oh. You want to take your little guy and feed him to the pyramid? Wait. That one? You want, you want me to... Give your smallest, the prophecy says to... Does not matter age. To, to that. that to... No, it must be your smallest among you. Um. Okay, I'm. Next to him. Yeah. What if I just like make a like a ricochet like straw hat dummy with the jerky that I got? What was your name, sir? That is. I mean, that's going to take time to make, but you can attempt to, if you'd like to, since you're not in the room and you're outside of it. You can try to put a jerky person together. Um, okay. Um, I got a pretty is, low roll. Yeah, uh, what would it be? Just a flat roll, so just... Just a flat roll? Goddamn. All right. Um, that'd be uh, 14. It's not something you've done before, so first try. Yeah. 14. Uh, it'd be... A, it'd be 
you'd have the limbs and, and like the body, but like it's still very clearly jerky. Um, Roll it in. Okay, yeah. well at least I have really good deception. Um, well, okay. That. Let them do that because that would take like at least five minutes. So. All right, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Catman, rabbit. Roll it in the blood, door. maybe. Um. Yeah. Sorry. I don't even I think it'll fit to... in its mouth. That's what we're feeding. What? What's your name, sir? My name. <laughs> Just call me the prophet. I've the one who speaks for the gods. The gods sent us the Great Pyramid here. They walk on their own legs, they walk and they run and they feed. And if we give them the food, then we can find the truth, the truth of the far realm. Is this the only pyramid that needs to eat? It is the pyramid I have been tasked with watching over. I will raise this one. I will make sure they become powerful and mighty great gods demand it. it is the prophecy do you deny the you prophecy? think that I... of course not but i'm wondering if maybe there's another pyramid that needs to be fed more we must be only focused on the task of which the deities have given to us to handle okay. well what if i told you that we promised another pyramid our smallest then it would already have been given you must disgorge your young to the feed you're right. Okay. What if there were seven of us? Then there should be six. Th there is six. So you fed. Of so do it again. It should be no problem to do it again. You must feed the one. I'm just looking back at Wednesday. Like, are you done? <laughs> Am I done? Yes. Are you done? That's fine. You can be. All done. right. Uh, um. I'll just go in real quick, and then I'll just be... I'll, I'll kind of, uh... Hold the guy almost as if he's, like, a like a baby. Like, I'm trying to, like, pass this off as a baby. I'll just be like, well, um, you know... I, I don't think we're supposed to be sacrificing this, but... You know, we could, uh... Uh, I think, uh, if we're just trying to fill out the prophecy, right? Uh, what better than to use this one? Uh, roll deception. All right, awesome. You're not gonna believe this. Is it a nat one? Good or bad? It's a nat, it's a nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> Plus bad. whatever my modifier is, which I can't tell right now, but I do know that I have expertise in it. Okay. Well then, <sighs> he'll just he'll take a step to the side and be like, feed, feed him. The truth comes from uh, the Great Pyramid. I'm gonna, like, look back, like, do I really have to touch this thing? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say, but I'm, like, giving that look. Just, uh... This thing, just to remind you, the pyramid has, like, the eye in the front of it, and it's got, like, little spindly, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like, how do we feed tentacles? this thing? Uh, yeah. It's, it's, its mouth is very stingray. <laughs> uh. Oh, so you have to put it on the floor and then it, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah. she'll just approach and then just put down the the meat baby on the floor and then back up. Okay. After and then the back eyes, up more. The, the idly little uh, bouncing will be a gradual slow lowering on top of the little baby thing. Meat baby. Um, and... <laughs> It's going to chew for a second, and it's going to lift up only part of the uh, creature has been chewed on, and uh, the guy is going to turn and say, was it not a fresh feed? Did you feed them a dead, dead member? Um... No, oh. I I think maybe the baby is just kind of like that. You did say if our smallest. Was, if if it had no blood, it would not finish the job. And I'm going to oh. clarify that while Cotman did suggest to roll it in mud or blood, you did not do that. I did suggest it. So 
So I thought I was doing that with the construction. You didn't say that you did that. You said that you were constructing it. Did I not? You only rolled a fuck, dude. As well. you kinda, and I said you kind of put it together, and it kind of looks like it, a dried person. You got the limbs and stuff, but. All right. I mean, I thought I said that I was gonna coat it in blood, but. I did not hear you say that. Did I not say that? They suggested it, but. Maybe it... I was muted at the time. Unfortunately, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear you say that. Oh, but... Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, he'll, he'll just turn and say, You disrespect the pyramid. It's not right. You can't get the truth through half-assery. It is not the will of the gods for you to find ways to swindle your job and duties. And... You're very right. Um, but I think you thought that that was our smallest member. We must have picked the wrong person, right, Wednesday? Uh, you know what? I'll just go and find someone. How about that? Uh, can I just do that? Can I find someone? You've already approached the pyramid. You must feed them your youngest, your smallest. They do not always go hand in hand, but one will do. Okay. Okay. God damn it. One more swindle guess? and defense will be made. You're right. Give us one moment. I'm going to close this door. <laughs> Guys, we, we have to figure this out. We should probably either leave or we should go look for something even outside. I don't know. But. Well, we really should do and let's um, just feed him to the pyramid. That must hmm? be good. I can make another beef baby, but this time actually put it in blood. I'm not sure if he'll fall for it twice. No, I don't think so. Oh, wait. What did you hey, say? Hey, I got you? some insane charisma, right? I know how to swindle. Wait. Sorry, sorry. No, no. Okay, I'm wondering... Basically, he hasn't seen Vester and, and Loki yet, right? I think so. Mm -mm. Right. And I imagine Vester has pretty good nature as a druid, hopefully, and Loki is good at archery. Maybe if you guys could go look for something outside as quickly as possible, that would uh, be... Catch up in the wild? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm also yeah. a druid. I could say this is my pet and that's our smallest. Hopefully, I don't know if he's human, then he might not even think of it, but if he isn't human, then he would see that I'm a druid. It's up to them, or Loki. Yeah. Probably. I just want to clarify, you are partially into the hills. It will take you, if you gotta go to the forest, it's gonna take you like an hour or so. Yeah. I think our best bet is the meat, baby. Better. Okay, let's see what meat baby. And someone Hurry. has to be ready to attack because I don't know. If you'll oh, of course, we're ready to attack. All right, let's <laughs> see what happens here. I'm gonna do my. Oh, melee. okay. Um. Oh wait, are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna yes. Cast my melee. Okay, I got a um 18. 18 to make another one. To make another meat baby. Uh, just to, just to blood. be clear, it is taking it is it cost you like three days of rations to make these, so this will be. I got ten days of rations. rations. It's cool. Well, you got four. You got four left after you make this one. Um, sure, man. Sure. And what'd you roll for the second making? Uh, for the second making, oh shit! It was an eighteen or a nineteen. I think it was an eighteen. 18. Then yeah, you yes, would have, you would have made another one. This time a little bit better than the last one, likely for the. Yeah. Uh, and. That you as and I'm gonna be like trying to like coat it in the blood as I'm like working, so it gets kind of like inside of it, soaks in, you know. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and then uh, I'll hold it like a baby again, I guess. And um, I guess I'm doing this again. Uh, I mean, we did say we had six members, and they didn't see them, so we'll just say that it was another baby that was on her. Okay, let's do that, I guess. Okay. Alright, ready when you are. I'll be right behind you. I'm not. Let's go. 
Alright. Go ahead, Winsor. Alright. He's gonna my longbow. come in here and so you're just. Ready be... a longbow? Don't ready a longbow. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. Don't. Okay, I was just over here. Or I'm here. Or I thought that... Well, I'm not in front of him, but it's okay. fine. I'll just keep my staff. Scary. Scary. All right. Um. Anyways, uh, she's gonna come back over, and she's just like, I. Okay, you you got me the first time. I really, I really didn't sacrifice the baby that we had in our party. But you know, I, it took me a little bit to convince the mom of our group to let go of her baby. But uh, Correct. you know, we got we got this one now. Please show me. The Can't have yes, yes, of course. Insult. Yes, yes, of course. Now, um, now roll, <laughs> roll uh, with disadvantage for the deception this time. Fuck, dude. All right. And it's the second time saying one. Okay, I got two 18s, so that's I'm getting a lot of 18s, but um, also my deception is expertise, so I don't know what it is, but I do know that it's probably close to like maybe eight. Uh, he's going to look over the baby and he'll say, Why is it so still? Shouldn't there be some form of life that you're giving? It feeds oh. on the life force, not on the flesh. Well, I mean, I, I mean, it's just a, a very calm baby. If you believe that this is your smallest among you that you're willing to sacrifice, then f please feed to the pyramid. Okay, um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna place it down and then back up. I'll take right. a step forward this time. Once again, the, the gym mule will lower and feast on it. This time, finishing the, the child and the prophet's going to rejoice. Yes, wonderful. The sacrifice have been made soon. Soon that pyramid will grow to give us more of the truth. For now, the obelisk will remain happy and content in its situation. The growth of the truth continues. What is the I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn behind the door and then just kind of go like, Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Now that we've proven that we are truth seekers, well, what were you gonna ask? What's the truth? What are? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's he talking about? The truth is that the obelisk will give us new life, new power. The obelisk will be formed soon, and then once that's done, the pyramids will roam this plane and give us more knowledge, things that we know not that we know. Things that we not know that we want to know. Things that make you better, make us better, grow humanity and people. Mm. That's like a headache. Okay, well. That was confusing. Yeah. <laughs> Talks and riddles. But. Yeah, the, thank you. Close this door. Okay, should we kill him? Yep. Good luck, truth seekers. Find the obelisk and gain your power yourselves. Surrender Honestly, to those that hold the power. I think we've got to kill this guy. <laughs> I hate... I, listen, I'm... I believe in peace. I don't. I know. The yeah, problem is that all those... I well, closed the door, obvi uh, but problem is those little pyramid things are kind of a, oh, will attack people. As you were closing yeah, the door, I mean, Robin, small... you did see him fall to his knees and start praying to the little pyramid in the room. Yeah. Mm. So by looking at him, can we tell he's human or what he is? At he's least? mutated. He's mutated. That's it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's like deformed in some freakish way. Don't know what did it to him, but. Yeah. Okay. And I don't like the idea of him trying to grow that thing and have it reproduce. You're right. If it can. Let's do it. Okay. So we're killing Hello. him? 
Oh, not yet. I'm not, oh, not saying anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, as as about... so we're killing him? <laughs> as you walk in, he'll be getting up and uh, he'll look over and he'll just ask, Is there more you wish to know? Soon you'll grow into the power much like myself, and he'll gesture to his mutated side of his face. I see. It's quite the adornment that they have given you. I've only been partially blessed, and soon full blessing will be upon me. Is anybody else coming in with me? Yeah, I was gonna... Um, to be clear, yeah. your weapons are not drawn, correct? Not yet, no. No, no. Alright. No. Uh... Well, well, go ahead, Common. Oh, I was just gonna be like, alright, well, I turn to the, uh, what's it called? And, like, draw my hammer and smack, or s slam on top of the, uh, gym meal. As soon Wait. as you draw your hammer, looking at the pyramid, he is going to just loudly shout, You can't! And he, you're going to feel almost like a punch in your mind as he looks harshly at you. Oh. Uh, oh, wait, what did you say? Does a 19 hit comment? It does not, since what's it called? Or, actually, wait. 19? I see nope. 19 here. Uh, oh, and your hammer. Oh, yeah. Are you two-handing two or one-handing the hammer? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm one-handing the hammer. One-handing? Uh, yeah. Because it's not a ball, right? It's just your regular... Yeah, because that's why I bought the buckler, so I would be able to bring my AC up to 21. Right, you're using the... Wait, are you... Wait, my bad. Okay, so I uh, my bad. I'm getting myself mixed hammer. up. I'm using the uh, the pickaxe, my, my bad, the pickaxe. The luminous war pick, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, that is... Okay, yeah. So yeah, as soon as you drew your weapon and were focused on the pyramid, he's going to freak out, say that... You said the 19 hits, so you feel that punch in your mind. Oh, no, uh, well, with the, uh, sh well, if it's the shield. I think 19 was with the sh Oh, 21 is with the shield. Okay, so the 19 yeah. doesn't hit. Yeah. Which Sorry, I gotta update this, because I switch it back and forth depending on which weapon I'm using. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, it's what I look at is the, the little circles. That's why I ask you guys to have your tokens updated. <laughs> um, My bad. The, okay, well, then if it doesn't hit, then, um... You just felt a hindrance kind of stop you from an immediate attack. So, no surprise round, and Dang. we go into combat, because obviously he did not appreciate what you did there. Wait, what just happened? What did you say? He I didn't say it. anything, I was going to kill the Jimmyle. Just... Oh. He lifted his hammer to the pyramid that the dude's worshipping, so the dude yeah. reacted accordingly, in my opinion. Oh, wait. But, yeah. literally... He's literally listed as a, um, what do they call it? A deluded prophet. So, I tried to do a deluded prophet as best I could. <laughs> I'm not really good at those. I think it's a good oh. oh my god, excuse me. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. That's what I think of his prophecy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, what's my dexterity or my initiative? As a tabaxi, you should have a base plus. Yeah, I don't know if I'm rogue. No way. I, I don't uh, know what my modifier is. I don't have my sheet. What's your, Cotman, what's your plus one? Or what's your dex? Oh, it's only a one. Okay, you lose. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Vistern, I gotta roll over I'm, here. I'm strength based, not dex based. Uh, oh, Vistern's not going first. So, uh, Loki, what, you gotta add your. Yep, appreciate that. And Wednesday, what's yours? I don't know, because I don't know what my dexterity oh. is. Uh, plus five. Oh, okay. So. Okay, yeah, hold on. Plus five. Oh, a lot of people got 21. Wow. <laughs> uh, yours yep, is oh. 18. His, yep. so. I have a plus three. Yeah, okay. I'm better! <laughs> uh, Loki, Loki definitely has better. Yeah. Um, and I believe Visser has better than Rabbit. Rabbit, what's yours? 
Um, my modifier for Dex is, is zero. <laughs> Pretty paladin of you. Mm. Pretty paladin. Really? Of you. Yeah, paladins like don't need Dex. Heavy. We're usually using strength. Yeah. yeah. And they mm -hmm. use heavy armor most of the time. Why? They don't need the plus. Mm. Well, I move out of the way when you can when I have the AC and HP to simply take the hit for everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Oh. AKA, we're too good for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so Wednesday, you okay. get to go first. Yes, I'm just gonna go here and I guess provoke the opportunity of attack. Um, and just focus on the Gimul. Attack, which is going to be a nightmare blast, and does a what's this plus? A eighteen. Nope. Really? Oh, damn. All right. Well then, as you work. Yep. Anyways, I'm gonna go for the Gimule with my rapier, and I get advantage. Luckily. All right. Um. Plus. That'd be a 19 to hit. 19 does hit the little guy. Alright, so that's plus my sneak attack. Let me get more dice. <sighs> What's my sneak attack right now? It's uh, 46. For level 7. Uh, uh, yeah, level 7 rogue right now. Alright, 46. Oh, okay. 3, yeah, right. 3d6 plus... Alright. 3d6 plus the 8. That sounds good. Let's see here. So that's a 5, 6, 1, and a 3. 5, 6, 1, and 3. Uh, 11, 12, uh, 15? That's... Yes. 15, and then your rapier is a plus 6, right? Yes. Alright, so 21 damage total. Not bad. 21 damage. And then, uh, bonus action, gonna claw the guy. Okay, go ahead and go for it. Alright, that hit. probably doesn't. Does that hit? Let's see, so. That'd be a 13 to hit. 13 does not hit, and. Alright. going to yeah I think that's what he would do he's going to do a nightmare blast one two uh well the two people that threaten the little guy so one for first we'll do one for Wednesday that is a net 20 Get oh him. no and then one for Cotman uh -oh. Cotman that is only gonna be a 20 uh dirty which I don't think hits. It does not. Yes. All right. So but if it was mad, then yes, it would hit. <laughs> um, I need a wisdom save at disadvantage for Wednesday, as you feel a mental blast just take over your uh, your brain for a second. Wisdom, plus. right? Nine. Yep. You're gonna take 20 psychic damage, and then I need this okay. wisdom save. All right. What's the uh, what's my wisdom modifier? Plus one. All right, so that's thirteen. Thirteen is enough to save. <gasps> so, but you All right, still 20. take twenty damage, psychic damage. All right. Um, Cotman, you are. Yeah, Cotman, you are up. Gotcha. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, what's it called swing around this corner. Oh, cool. I'll provoke that opportunity from the Jimmy. Yes. yes, you will. Um, <laughs> your okay. Opportunity attack from the Jimmy, and that is uh, a nineteen. Ooh, he Ooh. actually got pretty high. Damn. Even with a good plus, <laughs> and even with yeah. the pluses, these guys aren't getting them. All right, 
And I'll go ahead and swing on uh, Frazy over here. Okay, go for it. First attack, that is... What's it called? Why can't I do math? 21, there we go. 21 hits. Go ahead and do your okay. second attack as well. Okay, gotcha. Because I don't think it will kill with both, uh, both attacks anyways. Da, da, da. That is... I don't think this one will hit though. This one is a... What is it? Can't do math again, come on. It's only a plus okay. 8. I mean, how hard is it? <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm messing up because it's like 5 plus 8 and I'm like a bad with odds 5 plus, plus 8, evens. that's 13. That's gonna miss. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but you can always just tell me the numbers and I can do the math for you. Yeah. Thank you. I can't do math. It was like a 13 last time. It was a 13 plus 8. I'm like, why oh, can't I do math? I know this. It's like as 12 plus 8 is 20. I'm game because I know the other day I was having issues with 7s. Okay. <laughs> Alright, 1d6 plus 5. That is. Uh... Is it only a 6? Uh, the Luminous Warpix is a 1d8 plus 5. Oh, my bad. I was just going off what's up based on my character sheet. Okay. It should be on your character sheet. Yeah, I got 1d8 here. Uh, 1d6 is your Light Bringer. Are you using that? No, I'm using the, uh, the Light Pickaxe since I still have that out. Because that's what I used to attack initially. It's not a light pickaxe. It's a luminous war pick. It's a little different. My... Oh, I probably pulled it off of like something else. Something so dumb, a like, war you know. pick. That a war pick alone is just one d eight. Has no extra things. It being luminous is what gives you the plus one, and I think it has like one other aspect to it. Luminous. Yeah. So. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna split pick, so... So I guess the plus That's one, one and it's... then... It's... Plus five. That's the stones. Oh, and you can use your bonus action to cast Daylight uh, once per day as a bonus action. Oh, nice. Okay. Which, that is 60 foot radius, lasts for one hour. And it's basically just light everywhere. Gotcha. And it overlaps the darkness spell. Um, I got a six, so eleven in total. Eleven damage. Not a bad, not a bad smack, but he uh, he recovers from that pretty quickly. Piercing damage. But yep, that's all I got. All right, it's the little guy's turn, and the little guy is first going to do a psychic slam against Wednesday. So Wednesday, awesome. you, feel, you feel something wrap around your body and does a a 17 doesn't hit, right? Nope. All right, you feel it try to lift you up, but it fails to do so. After which it does its bonus action to do a leech grab onto Leah. Leah, I need a dex saving throw from you. Oof, okay. Got it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm, I rolled a three, so. Okay. Plus five. <laughs> so this thing, plus five. This oh, thing... plus five, and then let me see. Uh, uh yeah, because you're in the aura, so. So eight plus yeah. what? Two? Ten? That still fails. Two. Yeah. Yeah, because she's not in my aura. Yeah. Sorry, I yeah. moved too far. You're fine. I appreciate that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. I have hope. Well, so as this thing leeches yeah. onto, you feel these piercing jabs as it la uh, lashes into your leg and clawed onto. Uh, you take six piercing damage, um, and you'll take that at the start of your turn as well, every time, until it's detached, um, which it takes an action oh. to detach it with a strength check. Um, okay. Um, okay. That brings us to Loki. <laughs> what would you like to do, Loki? I to fire the uh, little thing. Yeah. You can kind of, yeah, I'd say, well, it's attached to Leah now. Two arrows, right? Because you have extra attack. 
Right. So, let's see the... Oh, I was going to use the 19 at the beginning, but okay. So, the 19 does hit, and so does the 15. So, a total of 14 plus 5 is 19 plus 13 more. Let's see, that's 22. That's 32 damage from two arrows going into the thing. Yeah, it's, that's what I heard. It's incredibly hurt from these two arrows jabbing into its tiny pyramid body, but it manages to stay holding on, which means, Leah, you're going to take another some eight damage, and I would imagine that was because it had to latch on even harder after getting hit. Mm -hmm. So you take an extra eight piercing damage. Makes sense. Um... Okay, I'm gonna attempt to take this thing off. Um, All right. One of those negative one people. So let's see how this goes. Yep, this will be a strength save. So. Yeah. Uh, you actually have a zero to plus... flat because of your cloak of protection. So. Oh. Okay, and also because it's a save, do I get the five? Yes. Seventeen. Is your action. Anything else for me? No, I don't have anything. I'm just updating this to zero so that I don't forget. Alright. Um, no, I think I have nothing. Yeah, all your saving throws should have went up by one because of your cloak. Oh. So it should be zero, two, three, uh, five, eight, and then two. That's what your saving throw number should be. I'm going to imagine Visser is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, stand in the doorway, and cast, uh, they never sent me, I like all their spells, probably Chill Touch, because that has a range, right? Yes, I forget how long it is, though. It's 120 feet, uh, and it's like a blue-white blast coming off, so... Uh, yeah, it's gonna make, they're gonna make a range spell attack against, uh, probably this guy. That's probably who looks more threatening, I can imagine. 20. Uh, 3 plus 7, 10, that's gonna miss. And so that would be all this turn does. So, Rabbit, you are up. Rabbit? Rabbit. Rabbit! Rabbit! Huh? Yeah. Uh, it's your turn. Oh, I was spaced out. I am so sorry. You're good. Okay. It's just combat. It's just... <laughs> um, I'm going to uh. Folk, I'm going to step forward and turn my focus to the prophet guy and then swing my sword at him. Fair enough. Go ahead. So, first roll is a. Almost. That is going to be a 27. I wonder if that hits. Yes, that does hit. Go ahead and roll your second attack. Uh, do my second attack? Do you? You what? tell me. You have extra attack. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Um, and then a 26. Oh, uh, 26 hits as well. So go ahead and do your damage. 2d8 plus 10 for your two swipes. Where's my d8? Where's my husband? <laughs> there it is. That's three plus. That's going to be sixteen damage. Sixteen damage altogether from the two solid sword swipes against them, and uh, he looks really hurt. You uh, you cut into his uh, fleshy wings that are back there. He has wings. 
Hmm. Um, he's just in a small room. You can't really use him, so. Uh, that brings us to Wednesday. It goes to me! Okay, um, I'll just keep on going for the gamule with my rapier. Alright, um, that is a 16 to hit. 16 does hit. Okay. And you are going what to did you say before that? I was going to say it with that advantage, but the oh. 16, you're gonna, your regular hit is going to kill the little guy. Woohoo! Rejoice in death. That's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna like pump my fist like yes. Anything else from you? Uh, I'll look over to the guy real quick. Is he like still? Does he still look like he's violent, or did he like kind of calm oh, down he, after he was? I mean, his turn is next, so we can. If, if there's nothing else you want to do, then it'll be his turn, and his reaction will be there. Okay, I'll go right here and hold my action until he tries to hit, and I will go action. with my claws. If, oh wait, I'll hold my hold, bonus can't action. Hold, can't hold a bonus action. Damn, dude. All right, never mind. I'll just stay right there and look at him. Whoa, what just happened? Right. Where am I? I put you back. No worries. Uh, okay. Um, as you kill the little pyramid thing he's going to no what have you done the prophecy does not include him being lost he's gonna get super angry and he is going to go forward focused on you <laughs> and he's about to make four attacks all on wednesday oh he's first okay, going... both in both auras He's gonna go ahead and do two punches unarmed. Okay, so that's a miss. And then that's a net 20. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, oh, I'm gonna kill, myself. kill you. Shit. So, with the net 20, I'll go ahead and do that damage. So, the punch itself is gonna land right across your jawline. You'll take an initial five, six, 13 bludgeoning damage. Then, yeah. Okay. You know what? I'll just roll this many dice twice. That's fine. And then you feel that punch continue through, hitting your brain noggin for psychic damage, dealing an extra plus 10, 19 psychic damage. Oh no. And then as that's finished. His focus is going to go hardened on you, and you're going to feel two of more of those Nightmare Blasts attempt to hit you. Uh, the, we have a 20, a, a, a dirty 20. Yeah, that and, hits. And a nat 1. Oh. With his consequence being... He can't break that, so he's just simply only going to be able to get through with one, so... Or you can just say that he missed. That's <laughs> breaking, technically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be eight psychic damage. Damn! <laughs> All right, I tried. And a wisdom save, please. Regular. All right. With a looks like you're in both auras, so plus plus ten. Yeah, ten. So I got an eleven. So twenty-two. Yeah. Okay, you're fine. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you made it. Um, <laughs> That brings us to Cotman, who witnessed uh, a barrage of attack on Wednesday. Right. Uh, I guess we'll just try and keep killing him. Okay, you have advantage on your attacks. Perfect. Uh, 25 for the first one. <laughs> uh, 25 definitely hits. You can do your second <laughs> attack as well. This one is a 21. They both hit. Go ahead and do your damage. So was it 2d okay. plus 10 for all together? Yeah. So. Damage 10 in total plus 10, so 20 damage in total. Alright. Uh, two solid hits, but he did not go down yet. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Loki. That's 30 damage so far. At least for me. Uh, Loki, I'd argue that you can still, yep, I would say that, yeah, you're gonna need to go there. 
you can stand where Vistin is. You just can't end your turn there. So two arrows, the twelve misses, but the fourteen just barely hits. So uh, the the second arrow is going to pretty much clip into one of his wings, dealing sixteen damage. So he looks incredibly bloodied and hurt and all that. And I see, look, you moved back. Uh, is that it for your turn? Yeah, I mean, it's my turn. All right, then, Leah, you are up. Hey. Hmm. I... Wednesday's still up? I'm still up, yeah. Barely. <laughs> I'm gonna... Use my. I'm gonna try the Wither and Bloom. Okay. Um, I think that's a Constitution save. Oh right, it is. Yes, that is not a terrible roll, but his Constitution is. I guess there's a 14 save. No. Okay, well then go ahead and do your damage and I guess pick someone to heal, right? That's what it does. Yeah. I'm gonna heal Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll do Thank you. two sixes. And you also gain my um my spellcasting modifier. What is that? Oh, so I so... just get your modifier? No, you also get, so your hit die. You can roll one of your hit die, and then you can also get my my modifier plus that plus my modifier, which is okay. Is this hit die expended from one of my short rests? Like, am I, am I not going to get this back if I do a short rest? Or no, you, you, use, a, you use your you use a hit die like right now. Do you want to? Okay. Hits? All right. Yeah. I'll just do, do my you... my fighter. And uh, what's my con again? Sorry. Uh, oh, what's your con? Oh yeah, just use the hunger turn. Sorry. I don't. Uh, that is plus three for your con. Uh, yes. Let me send this to you Wednesday so you have it. Where? Are okay. You, are you on like a, another computer or something? There? Yeah, I'm on my laptop right now. I can't get to my computer. Anyways, I got plus nine health back. Yippee. What's my- is my spell modifier 4? Or is it 7? Your spell modifier is... Is it 7? I think it's 4. Yeah. 4? Okay. It's your wisdom, so, yes. Why don't I have that? It should be... Wait. It's your wisdom. It's my wisdom? Mean? But my wisdom's 8, you said, so... Your wisdom can't be 8. Your wisdom... My, like... ...is a 19, which gives you a plus 4 on the modifier. And then that makes your spell attack bonus a 7 with the proficiency bonus, and then you add 8 to that to get your spell save DC. Okay, I understand that. Okay. Got it. Okay. I understand. Um, Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Alright, so we're clear? Okay, cool. Uh, yep. and yeah, your damage would have been enough to kill him. He would wither awesome. away, you could say. Then... Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't understand that it was your hit die. I thought it was mine originally, and no, basically, it's cool. I get a one d ten. Yeah, basically, it gives the, okay. the, the person that you give help to yeah. a chance to heal with their own hit die. They use one of their hit die okay. plus your modifier, which would be plus four. Anyways, Wednesday is just gonna drop to the bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wednesday, you wanna get your constitution just so you know. You wanna get that plus three. You would just what? get the plus oh. four from the wisdom. Of Riot. Fuck. Or, I'm sorry, from Leah. So it would be the whatever you rolled plus four. Oh, so in that case, that would be a little bit more. Because, yeah, it'd be one more, but yeah. Either way, she's just gonna, like, after that, she's gonna drop to the bed. Alright, it is a stone bed, so it is not comfortable. God damn! Alright, whatever, she's just gonna, like, just take a second there. I can also give you a uh, cure wounds as well. I think my jaw's broken. If you want, yeah, you can go cure with uh, one d I can give you a potion. We have so many. I'll give you a potion. You'll get probably a lot more from that. 
Oh, okay. Um, alright, I guess she'll drink that. What is that? A 1d6? Well, standard potions, just 10. 10 health. Here's oh, yeah, health. just 10. 10 yeah. health. So, no chance of spilling it, because you're not using the bonus action. That's, that's right. And you're not in combat. Yeah. Right, right, right. I personally don't understand rolling for potions, because, like, are you saying that some of them aren't as effective? Is that where we're going with it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes sense only for like if you're in combat and you're like, oh shit, I'm panicking. Like I need to, you yeah, know, that's, that's focus on drink, trying yeah. to chug it down. That's why you roll yeah. for bonus actions because there's possible spillage. You might spill yeah. something. Yeah. But the potion's gonna heal for what the potion's gonna heal for, right? So. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that is your worst in your area. How'd you? You guys managed well enough. Uh, Wednesday got the enraged version. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, you guys can go back to exploring or whatever it is you want to do. I guess I'll we'll search his body, see if he's had anything. Uh, he does not have anything. His vestments that he was wearing are all like torn up and not good and stuff. But he didn't have That's anything true. of use on him. Uh, he's just been here worshiping the pyramid. Thing. I'm gonna take yeah. off his. I'm gonna take off his vestment and wear it. Okay, it's, uh, you know, bloodied, it's torn, it's red, um, it's, it doesn't look good on its own, so, I mean, you look, yeah, like, you're, and I'm, you, you look like you're wearing bloody rags now. But, yeah, I'm gonna put up the, uh, the hood and everything to conceal my face. Vestments don't have hoods. They don't? But I thought you, the you best... said he had a hood. Yeah, you said he had a hood. Yes, he had a hood, but it's not his vestment. You want to wear Okay, well, I will wear... also I will take his vestments. Like I'll take all of his clothes. Like I'm stripping him down and wearing his clothes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh. Okay. Skyrim style. I'm just going to I'm going to walk away. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm, I, Look, I have a plan for this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just don't need to see that. <laughs> the, the cloak and the vestments okay. have like a torn back, which is where his wings would have jut jutted out of. Uh so there's like clear slits and they're like they flap and such uh it is pretty bloodied and scratched up and torn as it's very clearly not been taken care of in a while and it does not smell good so now you smell like someone who lives underground and never showers um cool but yeah i Anyways. guess that's cool that's not the term i'd use but is there any <laughs> is there any books or anything around here about like religious study or anything nope there's nothing else in the room no books all right. The man and his pyramid that he worshipped. All right. So now, if we ever get into any trouble, there might be a possibility you can just say that you're protecting me. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a long shot, but we can still try it. That's what <laughs> I was going for with this. Well, Wait. do we want to keep, go okay. further down the stairs, or do we want to check those other rooms out? Uh, I mean, I have to go right now out of character, like... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. but... Um, if you guys want, we could end it here, because they have to go. They'll bring us down to four, and then we can pick up, and then next week I'll just owe you 30 minutes. Well, actually, an hour, so... Yeah. We can break that up into 30 minutes, two yeah. sessions. Whatever works. Yeah. Okay. It's up yeah. to y'all. We can, or we can keep running it. Yeah. It's cool if you guys can want to keep running it. I just gotta go. No, I get it. Yeah. It's okay. all good. It just yeah. sucks like, you know, where it will be down too many people. It feels off. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah, because we'd be missing two after you leave, so. Um, yeah. So yeah, we can just break up the, the hour I owe you into two 30 minutes, and or even four 15 minutes, whatever works. Um, I'll just put down a note saying I owe you guys that time. Okay. Um, and then yeah, you guys, when we come back next week, you guys will decide if you're going to head south, or if you're going to head back out the hallway, uh, where wherever you want to head up to. I gotta go like right now, so I'll let you guys decide. Alright, bye bye. 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 bye.